I, I had a I had a incident uh, on a, on the airplane going to Indianapolis. Oh, yeah. Where this this guy, like, I don't know, this guy just started like interrogating me. He thought I was some sort of flight risk. About what? I don't know. He he was on something. I don't know what happened. Like I was sitting down. So he's just a passenger. Yeah, and I was I didn't know if he was a sky marshal, but he he ordered a doers in the beginning, and he just slammed it neat. Ooh. So I'm like, this guy's not a sky mar- sky marshal. This guy's boozing it up. So he just goes to me. He's like, uh, we're just sitting there. And he just says, uh, he goes, hey, are you, uh, are you afraid to fly? Oh, God. And I'm like, what? He goes, are you afraid to fly? I go, no, I'm not afraid to fly. And he goes, is you sure? Because, you know, it's okay. You can tell me if you are. And immediately I'm looking at this guy. What do you mean it's like, okay? What is this like interrogation 101, build a relationship with your subject thing that you're doing here? And I was just like, no. He goes, do you? He goes, all right, because, you know, he's just kind of fidgeting and looking around. I was like, no, man. I go, I'm cool. He's like, oh, so you like to fly? I'm like, when I'm up here, because, you know, I bump myself up. I go, when I'm back there, I don't like it. And then he goes, he's all right, you know. But, you know, you, you can tell me if you're afraid to fly. So now I'm just like, dude, I'm not afraid to fly. <laughs> so, and he's staring at me, and I, and I put my hand like this to show that it wasn't shaking. I go, I'm not nervous. All right? Thanks for asking. And then he goes, well, anybody can do that. And I'm just like, oh, Jesus Christ. And I just said, look, dude, I'm drinking water. You're drinking doers. Okay? And he goes, that wasn't doers, right? And I'm just like, I right, f- this guy. So I'm sitting there. He, you saw him order it. Huh? You saw him order a doers. Oh, yeah, I was sitting there. He said, let me get a doers. And she brought it over neat. And he threw it back like he was drinking baby <clears> milk. <throat> right? <laughs> I was impressed. I was, this guy's old school. <laughs> Starting off good, right? So then there's like five minutes of silence. More passengers are getting on. And then the guy goes, hey, you know, I'm sorry, man. I just uh, just got off on, a, on the wrong foot there, right? He goes, my name's so-and-so. What's your name? He asked me, like, what my name is. And I was thinking of saying something like Steve, you know, and I, uh, or some silly. I wish Lenny I, Clark. I wish I said some silly name, you know, but right. I, I, I didn't think of one. I just went, it's Bill. And he goes, oh, cool. He goes, uh, why, why are you going to Indianapolis, Bill? He started doing this shit. And I just look at the guy, and I go, I'm like, yeah, I don't have to answer your questions. Whoa. I don't. He has no fucking authority. You're not a sky marshal. You're drinking booze. You're an asshole. What are you on? Are you afraid to fly? Go right. fuck yourself. Leave me alone, right? So then he goes like, all right, now now I am concerned, okay? I am concerned, okay? Why are you going to Indianapolis, Bill, right? He says this, right? And they close the doors, and they're doing all this stuff. And I just, I just start like – I joked on my podcast. I just started smirking like Ryan Gosling. You know, he does that little Mona Lisa smile. You just kind of smile, and I'm just sitting there shaking my head at the guy, right? And I'm literally taking out my eye pillow. I wear, like, a mask just to say I'm so not worried about anything that you're going to fucking do. All this passive-aggressive shit just to piss this guy off. And he's going, why are you going to Indianapolis, Bill? And I just just kept – I didn't say anything to him. I just kept laughing, just kept shaking my head and um, was taxiing down. And he goes, dude, he goes, goes, I fucking do this for a fucking living. He's like, F, 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 and all this stuff. The lady in front turns around, starts looking, and we're taxiing down the thing. He goes, you don't answer my questions right now. I'm going to hit that call button. I will hit that call button. I will, I will stop this plane, and you will be fucking arrested, like saying all this stuff. And I'm just looking at him, smiling, shaking my head, like, go ahead and push it, dude. Let's see where the fuck this goes. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> what happens? Does the, does the pilot come out? Right. Does a police car pull up to the plane? No right. fucking clue. So he goes to push it, and he can't find it. It was kind of a weird place, and he finally finds it, and he hit the button. I'm like, holy fuck, he hit the button. This is hilarious. And I'm just sitting there. He goes, now you wait. You fucking wait. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just sitting there smiling, shaking my head at him. I'm like, dude, I don't care. I don't care. You're, you're not. You have no fucking authority. You're not going to hit me. You're not going to do anything. You're on fucking something. Right. But I'm not getting that. Dude, if that guy had a vibe like he was going to punch me, I would have been up in the in the aisles. But he didn't. He just had like that. It was like a kid throwing a temper tantrum. He wanted like this. He almost seemed like he wanted to be an army ranger, but he didn't quite make it. Or he what did he right. look like? What did he look like? He was like a wiry dude. He was in good shape, you know, wiry dude, white like, dude. Like that dude, who <laughs> that Trayvon Martin kid, who wasn't really a cop. Yeah, but he wanted to be a cop, so he took it to the next yeah. level. When and here's the thing: I, I could have squashed the whole thing and just been like, "Look, I'm a comedian. Right. I'm going to Indianapolis. If you'd like to come out to the show, I could have done that, but I'm right. a dick, and I hate, <laughs> I hate fucking, I hate authority. And this guy doesn't have any, so fuck him." So I just laugh. Now he pushes the button. So then the stewardess comes over, and she goes, yeah, what's the problem? He goes, this guy is a flight risk. I am not comfortable flying with him, but blah, 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 and all this shit. I was surprised how few people were looking around. People were just kind of sitting there and 
This guy was wigging out. And I'm just sitting there. And then the, the stewardess was like, all right, did anybody else see any behavior? And the lady was sitting in front of him, pointed at him and said, yeah, he was berating. And, he point, and she pointed at me. He, he was berating him. And I'm just like, perfect. So I'm literally putting my fucking eye mask down as I'm talking to him, just going, hey, I'm just a guy trying to go to Indianapolis. This guy's drinking doers and he's dropping the F. And then I'm thinking, fuck, I said, bomb. You know, like it was going to be a problem, but that, that wasn't a problem. And this guy's just doing this thing where he wants to win. He wants some sort of recognition of what, whatever the fuck he thinks he is. The so, plane's still moving. No, at this point, it fucking stopped. It pulled over. I forgot that part. It oh, pulled over and stopped. Dude, it's a fucking red eye. Okay, it stops. Another steward comes over and he goes, what's the problem? And he goes through the whole fucking thing. And, and, and it's like basically the captain at this point is going, do I really have to come back there? It's like, really? The red-eye fucking flight? My last flight of the day? I used to fly combat missions. You know how fucking boring this is to fly this fucking bus? I don't want to deal with this bullshit. Do I really have to come back there? And then they finally asked him. They said, hey, are you going to be comfortable flying with this guy? And he, uh, I think they acknowledged that he had some sort of something there. So he goes, you know what? No, yeah, it's okay. It's going to be okay. Just put whatever, right? That he had some sort of something. That he like had, some sort of power that, like, they checked with him. Like, you're going to stand down, sir? Like, to whatever s fucking spy he thought he was. So now we get back in line, and we're taxiing. And as we're going down the runway, I got my eye thing on, and I'm just sitting there, and he's yapping in my ear. He goes, you think this is fucking over? You think this is fucking over? And at this point, I'm laughing. I'm holding my stomach and I'm fucking laughing and it's driving him nuts and I'm having a fucking ball with this guy. And he goes, uh, you know, my dad's the, the CEO of some fucking company in Indianapolis and he starts saying that he's going to have me fucking arrested when I land. And, uh, and he started describing the view I was going to see from the jail, like some Law & Order episode. What? Oh, you're going to Did you get a picture of this yeah. guy? Did, Did you take a photo? <clears throat> no. Oh, how could you not? You should have been filming video this whole entire time. Yeah, that would be amazing. You could why can't you can't you just be in the moment and not turn into a film crew? I just, no, I was, because then I the story's even fun. better. The universe gave me this fucking <clears> moment. <throat> right? I'm telling the story. I don't. I don't. You know. So he fucking. Uh, so then I got my things down. And then he finally he's, yeah, he's going. Yeah. He, oh, you're gonna love the view from the jail. You can see Lucas Oil Field and blah 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 and all this shit. And then he finally Lucas just, Oil Field. Yeah, that's where the Colts play. <laughs> Tell me, like this this view, dude. It was so, such hacky interrogation. Then he finally said, uh, he goes, you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad. You know what? I fucking hope you do something. I fucking hope you do something. We're up there, and I'm fucking bursting. What? It was not. I hope dude. you do something. And I'm something sitting there like... with a blindfold on, laughing at him. It was driving him <laughs> fucking nuts. It was great. So then, five minutes of silence, ten minutes of silence goes by, and I'm finally thinking that maybe this shit's over, or is he just sitting there staring at the side of my head? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I just hear. Right as I'm starting to nod off, I just hear, "Why are you going to Indianapolis, Bill?" <laughs> <laughs> and I just laughed. So, dude, my adrenaline was fucking going. I was just like, wow, they're going to stop the plane. This is fucking intense, man. This is crazy. What's going to happen? And I'm totally innocent, so I got to kind of watch it happen. So then I couldn't sleep. So I was sitting there with that stupid mask on for like a half an hour. And then finally I was just like, all right, fuck it. I got to take it off. And I got to deal with this guy. And I take it off, and I look over, and he's just... He's just passed out, head hanging, this fucking, you know, special ops guy. You know what you should do? Completely passed out. You should fucking waylay him with a huge haymaker right in the face and then immediately pretend you're asleep. No. <laughs> no, because someone would have someone would have seen that. So I, they're I, all asleep? No, you know what I did? Was I immediately <clears throat> started pounding waters because I didn't have to go to the bathroom and I wanted to get up on the plane just to see if he was going to fucking wig out again. <laughs> Make some sort of yeah, so you some... you made yourself go to the bathroom. <laughs> no, on I started slamming water, <laughs> <laughs> so, just so that you would have water in your yeah, bladder. Yeah, so now <laughs> I have to go to for the fucking bathroom. Like you can't believe, and this fucking guy's passed out. He's now I held it for the last hour. He didn't wake up until we we landed, and then we we pulled up to the terminal, and I got out, and I stood up, and he wouldn't look at me, and I'm thinking hey, he probably slept it off, and now he's feeling fucking weird. Hopefully. <laughs> And the lady in front of me got up and she just goes, she smiled and she said, hey. And I just said, hey, that, I go, that, was, that was an interesting one. And then he had the pillow like this, Joe. He had it behind here in some weird position in, in some sort of like alpha male way. He tried to get some sort of tough thing, the last word. He took the pillow out and he threw it down beh beh between his legs and he like grunted. He went like, Ugh. like he, th he threw a pillow down. <laughs> that was it. That was my trip to uh, Indianapolis. Oh my god uh 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 ooh, 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 ooh.